Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins where we're gonna do the thing. Come on, let me do no. There we go. I have to hold it down. You What? Who dares to enter here where silence has befallen her? A Magi who has treaded many dunes to find you. Hide if you must, Hyena. But this tomb will not protect you. I demand that you stop here. Turn back now, and I will excuse this intrusion. Siwa was an intrusion. How did you even know I was here? That's creepy. Okay, I can squeeze through the crack, or I can... Somewhere in here. Is this like a dead end or what? Okay. I think. So this is the way you actually have to go. And I think this up here was... Oh, somebody just died. <laughs> My friend, is it really that bad? Oh, you died to the hyenas. See, I avoided the hyenas. I decided... I decided I was good. I mean, they let me just walk right in. I was like 15 meters away from them. I have like a pork chop. Wait, these sort of appear to be going... Ah! It's a- wow, it's a literal maze. What the heck? I mean, they are, right? Like, that's how pyramids are, but... Oh my good golly, are we really gonna take this sort of pace, this sort of speed? We could go a little tiny faster. There's a commoner called J. Ro who lives in Jade Sneferu, Sn or Neferu. A commoner 110 years ago, 110 years old, who eats 500 loaves of bread, a shoulder of beef for meat, and drinks 100 jars of beer up to this day. He knows how to mend a severed hand. He knows how to make a lion walk behind him with his leash on the ground. He knows the number of chambers in the sanctuary of Thoth. Oh, sucks to be that guy then. If if you know how to get something that she wants. Uh ho. Okay. I'm gonna crack open a cold room with all the boys and girls and other. Treasures. Too numerous for the eye to behold. Holy cow! Holy cow. Break all the seals connected to a sealed door to open it. No! The unwary who unleash desert sands will be swallowed into the arid depths. Are you saying that this is gonna like open up and I'm gonna fall out. I can loot six gold pieces. There's a lot of uh, vases, like silverware. It's not like a pile of gold. It's like plates, silverware. I mean, they're really fine. But were they, like, this is a lot. Like, it's a freaking lot. Pyramids, pyramids. Oh, do I gotta? Oh, cool. Go, 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 go! Why? Dun, dun, dun. 
I feel like they weren't just tossed in here and they've been like put that way after many years. Lady, where are you at? Look at all this stuff like strewn about. Like this is crazy. Like who would leave this stuff behind, right? If they had messed it up to this point. If it was left this way. An ancient tablet from the old kingdom. Ancient writing. Back when the pharaohs were actually Egyptians. And not Roman. Well, we completed it. Oh, time to go. Completed the area. <clears throat> time to go. That was fun. Glad we could do that. Ooh. Kinim Kufwe, son of Neferu and Queen Hetaferes I, bringer of light, saffron robe, beloved of the golden orb and silver sun. Another child reference! No! Did I read that? O oh, king, you are this great star, the companion of Orion, who traverses the sky with Orion, who navigates the Duat with Osiris. You ascend from the east of the sky, being renewed at your due season. You don't get a story? Oh, no, we're okay. We're okay to go down. I wonder if I could, like, hold up. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Hold on. Nope. <laughs> I tried to like slide in, but nope. We're gonna take this super mega crawly way. With all the scarab beetles! Woo! Okay, I was like, I'm falling! I'm dying! But I'm not. This is cool! Did they actually? They had to have, right? They had to have, like, looked at, like, maps of pyramids and stuff. And, like, like the insides of pyramids and seen how they were, like, designed. Oh, Glenn. Oh, is this a dead end? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm in a dead end. No, keep, please keep climbing. Okay, alright, we're gonna climb this instead. Okay. Over here? Perfect. Perfect! Just kidding, we're not, we're not stuck. And these are, ooh, nice. These are old kingdom tombs. Stuff in Giza is really old. I'm, like, really worried we're gonna, like, run into something, like a monster. Ooh. May it be known that Cade worked on this great edifice until he died. He was a stonemason. That is stuff you can find on the actual pyramids. Is like, the people will, um, the people who worked on it will actually sign it in some way. It may not, I don't know if it was like, I don't know if we know or not if it was like sanctioned signing, but like, no one's gonna be able to inspect the entire pyramid, you know? Like, there's, you could always try to find a way to leave your mark on the world, you know? Spider webs. <laughs> long tunnels. Nothing in them. I feel like stuff's gonna drop down on me. Is it outside? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Why are we outside? What? Exploration area. Um... Hang on. Yeah. Okay. Let's 
see. Um... I don't see anything that's... I guess I could go to the top of the pyramid. No, don't do that. Let's see if I can go, because there's a fast travel point up there. Go. Go, go, go. Climb. Climb the pyramid. It's all I can think of. Yeah, it says she's somewhere inside the pyramid. So why am I on the outside of the pyramid? Do I have to go back inside? But the exploration area is out here. No, no, do it! No, 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 you gotta keep pressing the button. You gotta keep pressing the button. No, no, jump by it! No! <laughs> Sliding out of pyramid. I'm a little confused. Is she... Is she not inside the pyramid? No! Yes! 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 No, 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 no! No, no, no. What are you doing? Stop. What are you doing? Okay. Yes. Even the sides of these- No! No, please. The size of these pyramids is too much. Holy cow, this is a long climb! Long climb. And I'm definitely not going where I need to go. Unless there's like a way up top. Come on. We gonna do it. You go ahead, bag. I'm gonna drink my drink. Come on. Oh my gosh. This thing is so huge! <laughs> this is amazing! My bird's up there like, what the heck? Senu's like, it's taking you forever. I'm like, no, it's Senu. I do my best. Oh, yeah! Hang on. Ah, yeah! Hey, hey, yeah! <laughs> Photo mode! Photo mode's so fun. I love it. Every game should have photo mode. Well, every game like this, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. We're nearly there! We're nearly there! I wasn't sure if we'd just be able to stick our hands and toesies into the little tiny cracks, but they give you a path of the big cracks. Which is nice. I'm definitely taking me like three minutes to get up here. Which is an exorbitant amount of time in a video game. Oh my gosh, yes! Ha! <laughs> we did it! Oh my gosh! Hold B to slide down the pyramid. Yeah, buddy. What fool would set up camp out here? I should have a look. Wait, what? Birdie. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I can see Alexandria from here. Um, has it, has it rained on us yet out here in the desert? Okay, so I'm technically still in the exploration area. Where's the one I took? Is that one of them? No, that was one that I saw that I liked. I took one over here, but I can't see it. I am sad. Um... Is this like the camp he's talking? Maybe this is what the camp he's talking about. Hmm. Maybe I just need to. I haven't found that room, that's for sure.
Hang on, can I? Yeah. Which side of the pyramid are you on? This side? Wee! Go, no, just do it. Please just fall down the pyramid. That would hurt so much. I don't think you'd have feet left by the end of that. Alright, there's no way to get in on this side, it looks like. That makes me sad. Come on. Oh, there is. Maybe? No? I don't understand. Where was the way I went in? Was there like another route that I missed? Where's all the hyenas? I've messed up. How far away? Hmm. Okay. Hey guy, uh, you got any you got any hints on where the hyenas at? Looks like that photo was taken really far underground, maybe. The sword looks so freaking good. Oh, there's the hyenas. They're eating somebody. It's a bummer. Why did I... What? How did I leave the area? Man, I am ah! set, possessor of magic. The gods live here, not you. What sort of mischief is she entertaining? I was just gonna run right through the whole thing again to try to see. Uh oh, did this was a a path I apparently missed. Okie dokie. I actually thought I was just following the same path I took. I think I was, mostly, but then I, like, did a slight divergence on them. I keep burn burning cobwebs, and it feels like I'm in a Twilight Princess. None of those squeaky noises. No, thank you. Okay. Here. Oh, I have that. Also... Um, I don't think I have really either one of those for that. I... Um... I do, if I wanted to increase my tool pouch capacity, but... Eh, might as well. Ooh, we got it into the purple range now. Nice. Okay. Ranged weapon. It sucks. Cool. Ooh, this one's called Concealed Garment. I don't know if we read it, but this weapon is devoted to Neith, the Concealed Goddess of Sace. It shall be worn during the Feast of Lamps. And then we have Neith's Observer, too. Ooh, 
Phalanx shield. We're getting a purple shield up in here. Uh, classic defensive weapon used by Ptolemaic infantry units. Oh, yeah. Bronze shield. Give me some bronze. Yes. Did I get another ability point? Oh, okay. Just going crazy. Okay. Well, that was... Uh, ooh, look at that shield. Looks great. Okay. Come on. Be gone! Osiris cannot be disturbed. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna get this photo off my map. This trap door. What is it protecting? What trap door? Heathen! The wakeful one is asleep. Go no further, or I will drench these arid plains with your blood. Are you talking to me? Or somebody else. Okay. What is this place? Ooh. A tomb beneath a tomb. Lots of stuff is, is this where you hide, hyena? What is she doing in this strange place? Tomb investigation progress. Oh, is she making? What gruesome madness happened here? A dark place with a window to the gods. What kind of ritual is she performing? Ugh, this is spooky. They're like our vision's gone all woobly a little bit. Ugh. She's performing like blood sacrifice. Oh, I don't have to do that. I forget. I don't want to step on you. Still warm. And the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. Look at all the symbols. This is very animacy. This is very like um. Whatever, the ones that came before or whatever, you know, for, for assassin's stuff. Normal assassin's mm. stuff. <laughs> Alisa drew these symbols here. Was she trying to figure out their meaning? Can we, can Bayek see the glowing ones? Because she wrote some in, like, chalk there or an ash or something. Who's this? This sarcophagus is decorated with goddesses of the mother. Strange symbols are marked all over it. The mother? Offerings to Osiris. Protector of the dead. But I, what I kind of... I know what dark deeds Haliset was after here. Something to do with... Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. Once she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Alicet must be trying to bring someone back to life. What? But just who is buried down here? What? Well, hold on a second. There's like a ton of glowing things around here. Retransmission, oh! segment three, acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 95 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. You must be wondering why I have reached out to you. It was written, you see, that you would come to this particular chamber at this very moment in time. What? The walls told us of your coming. When we once were. Look at them. Are they not fascinating? One of here. Do you look with here? What? These walls tell of a tragic story. A story we transcribed on our structures, on our artifacts. A story we could not alter. A mystery defying us in plain sight. We tried. Our scholars and scientists, 
poets and physicists. I don't know enough about bright minds, the precursors. Rebellious hearts. They all tried so hard to bring about change. They, we all failed. None could change what we discovered. The stories written into the walls of these rooms. By whom, we never knew. We know they tell of the future that is, the future that was, and the future that is yet to come. The Zeros? We failed at modifying the line. We failed this is all at too deep. It, it was clear. We were to be messengers at best. But messengers to whom? To you. To me or to whoever accesses this? We removed our ability to read those stories from your original template. Oh, great. A doorway that is also a puzzle. We must find a solution. Those were Brutus's words when he visited the vault under the Colosseum more than 2,000 years ago. He drew the vault, sketched it to the best of his abilities, but he could not see. Just as you are blind, you may read your watch, you may read hourglasses and calendars. Wait, this is to be more modern. But you cannot grasp beyond that simplistic surface. For now, the true reading of time still escapes you. And so today, the curtains pulled and the arrows is shown, tragic and complete. Those walls you might never read. Events yet unfold as written. But something, anything must change. You do not understand what is at stake. W what was removed? Our ability to read certain things? The reader has no power. He is but an observer. But the author, Lies! The reader interprets. The author invents the future. The, the, the author, author can. The future. the author can write, but the reader interprets. A future where zeros are avoided. <laughs> a future where a loved one can be revived by the drafting of what? a What? A future where humankind is more than it is today. This is gonna get tragic. A future where. just perhaps. We can all still exist together. This is gonna come back to Camus stuff. To our son. Trying to bring back our son from the dead. This is all little things tying together really freaking well. But okay, I was not expecting that. Like what well, I, I want I want Bayek to say something. Oh, I can Oh, um, see so I mean like why isn't Bayek saying it this is all like so beyond so this, this isn't like animus stuff this is like so that was okay I don't know enough about like the precursory stuff like I didn't play any of the games to like figure that out really um but is this like a race that came after even the precursor race? The one that was it was it's the Egyptian gods basically, I think, Kifu or whoever. Maybe that maybe it was a I don't know, I but I think that maybe it was like a pharaoh or somebody. I don't remember who it was. Um but they're like the middle people between like the ultimate precursor people and like the current people. And like so and they created us and so like they removed our ability to read these things, basically. Yikes. Yikesies. Why in the world would I open this? Oh, ooh, I just came out of the... The great googly moogly. I <laughs> don't think this is a good idea. It's empty. Oh, no. What? My child. Ah. You 
lost your child. Oh, Hold no. It. Her rest is temporary. You had intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the Order. Ravaged this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. Oh. You're no match for me, desert scum! She fled outside. I have to kill her. Oh my gosh. Okay. She's trying. So everything she's doing is to bring back her daughter? Oh, this is gonna get so tragic! Wait. What about this? Can I still use this as an exit? Retransmission, segment three. Acquiring contemporary need. Oh man, man. Okay. It has been ninety-five days since the great catastrophe. Quick, show me. Speaks. Show me. Okay. You must be wondering why I've reached out to you. It was written, you see, that you would come Dance. to this particular chamber at this very moment in time. Why would it? What was that the exit walls option? Are coming when we once were. Come and meet me, coward. I'm coming. I just don't know what that exit thing was about. Mm. My phone. This oh my gosh. I mean he's gonna he's gonna sympathize so hard with this. You know what I mean? Like he knows it can't happen. But but there's a DLC where apparently I think it's the not the hidden ones, it's the Rise of the Pharaohs where like there are actual um undead pharaohs walking around. You are not Whoa. Than any of the others who have come you. Whoa! Wait what? I'm on fire. Hang on. Fight me if you must. Then your blood will be part of my daughter's resurrection. I will bury you in the sand. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! You have to press X a lot. I remember that. Okay. What did you just say, bud? Oh, giant sandstorm. Okay, we're gonna have a battle in a sandstorm. Now I will show you what happens to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb. Yeah! Did that just like. Ay! Hang on. Is going to meet you on your ground a bad idea? Is a sheep. I see you. I'm trying to run away from it. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna maybe try. What? No, not fair. Pursuit of the impossible, Halicet! No measure of magic can bring our children back! Oh, there she is. I just have to follow the arrows, it looks like. Hope Senu got clear. Hope Senu got clear of this, uh... Oh, the, the hyenas are coming. She's an incredibly tough woman. You cannot defeat me, Medjay! Come and face me! I did I I am, but you keep running away! Uh 
I was leaving the area. Where are you? Okay. Ow, ow, Neil, ow, ow. Come back here! Oh. Dang it. That was a big arrow. She's taking bleed effects. Ow, but so am I. Ow. She's not fading away as often. Come on, do the thing. Do the No, come back here. She's like, I would say she's slowly bleeding to death. <sighs> well, this was not like a satisfactory thing to have to do, you know? I can only imagine that he'd pity her and sympathize. No hate for a do woman. Do I walk among the dead now? No hate for a woman who lost Just her dead. child. You defiled the dead, and enabled the people who killed my son, all on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? The symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion! She walks alone in the field of reeds. Am I to remain in the Duat Laeva? Yeah. I just want my daughter back! Please! A very pitiable end. Each kill makes Bayek think about what he's doing. Oh, oh, that one makes my heart hurt. Oh. Find your daughter in the afterlife, Haliset. May the Lord of the Duat guide you. I kind of hope so. I mean, she did. She defiled the dead. She did terrible things. But I think more than a lot of other people, you know, any he like any person who's lost a child and like has this crazy thing especially like when when people believed in like magic and gods and stuff like there had to be a way right there had to be a way to undo this thing that is undoable you know at least for us and if she knew about anything about those who came before like their powers were great you know like they were innumerable and they had to have a way to bring back but it's interesting that Bayek says it's not for us like it, is she right could she have brought back her daughter? Could he bring back his son? But, like, he knows that it's not... Once you're gone, you're gone. You know? Like, he doesn't want to bring his son back to life. He just wishes he'd never died. You know? So, I don't know. It's just really interesting how each person... Like, I don't know if I've mentioned it. It's kind of like with the Batman and his villains. Like, how each, each villain Batman runs into is basically a facet of his own personality. Of his own drives. You know? And so I think but it's the same thing kind of with Bayek and the people he's having and he's killing, basically, that he's hunting down. Is there each what could have happened to him in some way if he had chose even slightly differently on any of his paths, you know? So it's really cool stuff. But dang, so we've gotten the hyena. After her daughter's death, Kaleset became obsessed with trying to resurrect her. With the help of the Order, she discovered an ancient tomb that she believed to possess the power to restore life. Far removed from reality and rel relentless in her approach, the hyena's actions harmed every soul in Giza. So basically, she was willing to kill anybody she could to bring back her daughter. Which, you know, you can sympathize with. Like, if you lost a loved one, but what wouldn't you do to try to bring them back if you thought you could? You know? So, I don't know. It's interesting. 
It's like, they don't, like, shove it in your face, either, like, any of this stuff. You can just play the game and be like, oh, that was sad, you know, but, like, it's just really interesting to kind of think about it a little more in depth. Realize, like, parallels and stuff going on, but thank you guys so much for joining me on this one. This was really, really cool. Now we just have, at least right now, only have the crocodile and the lizard. I'm guessing we're gonna have, like, three more. Um, is my, is my guess. My scientific guess. But yeah, uh, thank you guys again for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next one.